Welcome to Analytics with Max. In this session, we are going to see about a DAX function named Colas. If you are familiar with the SQL background, you are already familiar with the function. What it does? It actually returns the first expression that does not evaluate to blank. Basically, consider you have a three expressions. In these three expressions, whichever is uh, returning non-blank, right? it is evaluated from left to right and if your first expression returns non-blank it will be written say for example your first expression returns blank then it will go and check if the second expression returns non-blank then it will return so let us try to check it out in an example so that you will understand if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification let's begin so we have uh, let's try to understand with um, some simple example uh, where you can apply in what are the scenarios i have two scenarios for you one is if you were um, measure right some measure returns blank then you need to show it as zero in that case how we can use this coalesce function this is the scenario one in scenario two we can go for calculated column let's begin with scenario one now we have uh, this uh, product category wise and each location we have a sales across each year you are trying to view the result let's say like uh, here um, in the semi formal these two category in 2016 you do not have any sales so that it is showing blank basically it is blank when you click on this you can see this quantity measure it is returning a blank because this two filter context applied Bangalore and short shut PE applied it returns a blank instead of that I need to show zero so I use the base measure from the table exactly instead we can use this coalesce function to avoid this blank let's try to write it so that is why I always recommend you to write some measures even it is a base measure so coalesce it, it's not required actually uh, let's so for example example quantity example coalesce okay like that so you can rename it properly as per your business requirement now coalesce function what do I want so it is sum of quantity that is sales quantity okay if this result is blank right you can see multiple values you can keep on adding this value if this is blank i want to return zero so that is what i want so let us hit enter so instead of uh, the direct measure i'm going to use this quantity measure now let us get rid of this quantity even here we will use this quantity coalesce function now you can see uh, let's try to collapse again all the data and let's go to 2017 and expand semi formal in 2017 we have a data for everything in 2016 we had a blank earlier now you can see zero even if you filter this particular filter context you can see zero here earlier we had a blank even 2019 you can see everywhere it is blank i mean instead of blank um, you get zeros for all the years because there is no data for 2019 so this is one such example simply if the data is blank then you can get the uh, expected i mean uh, you can make zero as the value for this mostly prefer people prefer this instead of this people also use um, if sales amount is blank then return um, if one condition what i'm trying to say is instead of coalesce right let me comment it out people write if class if is blank of same uh, function that is sum of uh, quantity right if this is blank then return zero if is blank then return zero people also write like this 
so what happened if is blank of sum of sales quantity is true otherwise what you need to do you need to return the sum of sales quantity it is not blank so what you should return you should return sum of sales quantity so now you can see it returns the same results in 2017 we have a data in 2016 when you press you get the zero even if you press here zero but the it is performant efficient what you call the coers function is performant efficient because it keep on seeing if uh, the first value is non blank return this otherwise it is zero i mean if it is uh, first value is blank then return go for the next one whatever you mentioned here it will be returned it is not blank zero is not a blank then it will return but it is what i'm trying to say coercive function is better than this if class this is what i want to convey let's move on to our second example like um, you can better understand about uh, the coercive function so i have the product master so this product master is linked to the sales this uh, product underscore master i created in order to make you to understand basically like you have a category name right category name here and uh, name over here and product code so i just want to create some new category name and if it is blank then make the new category name as name and even the name is blank make the new category name as product code so how you can write it so you can go for new column i is going to give new category and here again the same function coercive function then refer those columns here category name product underscore master category name comma and just a name product underscore master name comma code product code so what it does is like it will go and check the category name if it is blank then check if the master product underscore master underscore name is blank or non blank if it is not blank then it will return if it is blank so category name is blank and product name is also blank then go and check product code if it is not blank then return the non blank value so what we are expecting here in the new column you can see here for this casual wear it is returning the category name when you closely notice this case it is having a blank that is category name is blank so it will go and check the name so name column is written and it will not go and check other columns once the first non blank value is written then going back to this case the category name is blank so it will go and check the name name is also blank so it will go and check the product code so product code is written in this case other cases we have a category name so category name is written which is the first non blank value so this is how you can use the coercive function effectively if you have a blanks handling blanks will be very easier and uh, one last thing if all the values present in this function right category name uh, whatever name and code are all returning blank so this function also returns blank value this is for your information i hope you understand the coercive function and you can use in your business scenarios if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries do remember that data is your asset